music and architecture because so I don't I don't I'm not 100% sure but I understand I, I, I've always heard this relationship between music and architecture but think what you would need to know I mean the, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is like the same people that are interested in both music and architecture are they interested in chess the reason I say that is because chess has um, sort of syntax of moves, like mm -hmm. any one individual piece can only move in a certain um, set of ways, and that there's problem solving that goes on using a certain set of complex of complex uh, interactions and keep possibilities for movement. Most emotions come from things that make sense, whereas music is just a sounds, just organized sound. Kind of, um, I, I guess there's a, an unsaid uh, synonym to it, and it's it's interesting because creating music, especially with other people, it's uh, it really is a foundation, a blueprint. There's so many things that go into it, and there's so many different methods of, of doing it. I chose to study the field of architecture because it is a good balance of both the creative side and the technical side. Um, the creative side lets you be free and yourself, and the technical side is very structured. And I also really was drawn to architecture because it is very different every single day. You are never going to design the same building twice, and you can learn from your past, but every day is a new day. In terms of how architects create and composers create, you often find 
that they have rule systems. I mean, for an architect, the rule systems are much more serious because they involve gravity. I guess in, in a nutshell, music in itself is kind of uh, a common thread of everybody. It's kind of like the universal language, and uh, with architecture, I think that's the same thing. Um, you might come from different countries, different walks of life, different denominations, but that's that one common thread that everyone shows is uh, shelter and shelter from music.